Welcome to the Quick Start Guide for CDX Zipstream. To get started, open up a Microsoft Excel file, click on the CDX Zipstream tab, and you'll see a command bar containing CDX Zipstream functions. If you'd like to import demographic data for a list of zip codes, for example, use the cursor to select the first cell, Click on CDX Zipstream, and you'll see the address of the selected cell here. In this case, we're using the CDX zip code data feed, but other data feeds are available based on state, county, and other geographies, even down to the census tract level. You'll also see two lists of data fields. On the left is the list of available data fields. And on the right is the list of data fields you'd like to import to the worksheet. You can build this list by selecting a field on the left, or more than one field by holding down the Control or Shift keys. Then click Add. Once you're done building the list on the right, just click Get Data, and your worksheet will be filled with the selected fields to the immediate right of the zip code list. Just remember to end your zip code list with an empty cell, so CDX Zipstream knows where the data stops. By selecting one of the worksheet cells, you can see that each data point returned by CDX Zipstream is actually a formula. This formula automatically grabs the requested data from a local database. It can be used like any other formula in Excel, so if you copy and paste it like this, you can get the same data very easily for a new set of zip codes. You can also click on Settings to customize how the data is returned, either by row or by column, whether you want to overwrite existing data or not. And you can also specify that the data be returned as values instead of formulas, which we recommend when working with very large data sets. CDX Zipstream also has functions you can access by right-clicking on any worksheet cell. For example, CDX Route Bing uses Bing Maps to calculate driving distance and time, get driving directions, and create route maps. So in this worksheet, there are two lists of locations, and to calculate driving distance between each pair, just right-click, Select CDX Route Bing from the drop-down list, and input the worksheet cell addresses of the first two locations. Then select the desired route option, the quickest route in this case, distance in miles as the return data, and when working with long lists we recommend enabling autocopy and set to text. Click OK and driving distance is returned for all the data. The right-click function CDX Locate Bing also works with Bing Maps and can be used for address verification, geocoding, and mapping. So to geocode this list of addresses, right-click here, select CDX Locate Bing, Input the cell of the first address, select latitude and longitude as the return data, and again enable autocopy and set to text. Click OK, and all the addresses have now been geocoded. The function CDX radius can be used to find zip codes within a specified distance of a target zip code. Right-click on the worksheet, select CDX Radius, and as an example, input a target zip code of 08034. We'll set a radius distance of 5 miles. Click OK, and the list of zip codes is inserted in the worksheet along with their distance from the target zip.
The function CDX distance calculates the straight line distance between zip codes. This worksheet has two lists of zip codes, and to calculate the distance between each pair, we'll just right click here, select CDX distance, and input the worksheet cell addresses of the first pair. Click OK, and then just copy and paste the resulting formula to apply it to the rest of the zip codes. This is just a sample of the many ways CDX Upstream can help you get zip code and other location-based data, so please check out the help file from the CDX Upstream command bar for more detailed information. Thanks for choosing CDX Upstream, a software solution from CDX Technologies.